These are the scariest serial killers of all time. A guy made a hotel to kill people. Let's find out. We have a morbid obsession with the violent or in better words macabre. That is why murderers or serial killers are seen as both horrifying and fascinating. We can't help but want to understand more about these troubled folks, or at the very least, we can't turn away once they've attracted our interest. So today we have gathered a list of some of the deadliest serial killers of all time. And without further ado, let's jump in. Harold Shipman The first entry on our list is pretty gruesome, being responsible for the death of 218 people. And that is the one that was recorded, and it is expected that he might have killed more as well. He had the nickname of Dr. Death, which actually went with what he did. He was actually a physician, so he had easy access to victims who were an easy target for him. Plus, he could easily get away from it as well. But obviously, he was caught. People began to suspect foul play after Shipman was engaged in so many situations in which victims perished. He said that the majority of his victims were elderly women who died in their sleep. However, several of these ladies died during the day, which others found strange. Shipman also requested an abnormally large number of cremation certificates, which drew the notice of an undertaker, who noted the strange circumstances of the cremations. John Wayne Gacy We all remember the most disturbing clown image of all time, and we will never be able to forget about it as well. The guy behind that disturbing image is actually John Wayne Gacy, a serial killer, who was known by the name The Killer Clown. Gacy was actually a loving father and a loving husband as well, and in 1968, he was first imprisoned for sexually abusing two teen boys and sentenced to 10 years in prison. However, due to his behavior in prison, he was freed after just 18 months, demonstrating that the United States legal and penal systems were extremely weak at the time. Well, you might say it was a good thing since people should be given a second chance, but that would have been the case if he actually reformed following his release. Gacy became a well-known member of his community as Poco the Clown, frequently attending children's parties and gatherings. He would kidnap, rape, torture, and murder 33 youngsters over the following six years. He was sentenced to death for his actions in 1994, although he should never have been released the first time. Henry Howard Holmes Henry Howard Holmes is a guy you might not know of, but he was a simple pharmacist who transformed a hotel into a torture castle and became one of Chicago's most infamous serial murderers. Before the 1893 World's Fair, Holmes relocated to Chicago and began building a three-story hotel with a variety of sinister devices, including gas lines, secret tunnels and trapdoors, halls to dead ends, chutes to the basement, soundproof padding, and torture devices spread around a maze. The gas enabled Holmes to knock out his guests before the worst of what was to come, which was frequently on his surgical tables. He then burnt the victims at the furnace of the building, selling skeletons to medical institutions and committing life insurance fraud. All in all, he admitted to more than 30 murders which were found only after a fellow scammer reported about him because was falling short of a financial agreement. So eventually he was hanged in 1896. Richard Trenton Chase The next guy on our list will surely make your stomach turn if it hasn't been already by the previous monsters on the list. He was known as the Vampire of Sacramento because he had a gruesome habit of drinking the blood of small animals, like rabbits and birds, and also sometimes blending their organs with Coca-Cola to make a totally disgusting concoction. Yes, what you have in your mind is true. After being released from a psych ward, he later changed his targets from animals to humans. Jeffrey Dahmer No list of the most deranged serial killers would be complete without Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer began killing at the age of 18 in 1978 and wasn't arrested for murder until 1991, when a would-be victim fled and led police back to Dahmer's Milwaukee, Wisconsin home. Some of the gory facts of his murderous life were revealed through images of mangled victims and body parts strewn across the flat. He even had an acid bat in which he disposed of victims. Dahmer killed 17 individuals in all, most of them young black guys. He was imprisoned twice, once for molestation and once for murder, and was assassinated by a fellow inmate in 1994. 
Anyway, this wraps up our video for today. What do you think about this? Who was the most gruesome killer in your opinion? Let us know in the comments section down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it.